What's up everyone? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and here is the Horizon Hobby Rockray 110 scale 4 drive brushless rock racer. Ver uh, whatever. Ferocious, versatile and visionary. Alrighty. Now as you can see, I do like the design rock racer, kind of like a in between a rock crawler and a normal type of, I don't know, buggy style of thing. Anyway, it does look nice. Put yourself in the driver's seat, includes FPV camera cage. No camera though, so yeah. Anyway, own off-road, realistic scale four drive chassis, 40 miles an hour speeds with their brushless ESC and motor, AVC, full throttle, freedom, active vehicle controls. Ready to run, all that's needed is battery and charger. That is about it. Back of the box now, and then we can open up and have a look. It's even got its own LED bar there, which is looks sick. Fully enclosed plastic cage. Solid rear axle at the, at the rear. Let's have a read about some of these specs. Realistic scale four drive chassis. Quick battery change with the rear loading battery door. Waterproof electronics. Metal gear transmission. Aluminium chassis and injection molded roll cage. Brushless motor and ESC. AVC. LED light bar and metal geared servo. But enough of that. I know everyone gets sick of unboxings, but you know what? I've got an unboxing because some people like them, some people don't. I want to please everyone here, you know what I mean? Wrong way. I've got this new setup where I've got the camera above me in the garage, out of the house. It's much easier to do my videos. Now obviously we have a nice blue and black colour. Definitely does look cool. Let's get rid of the cable ties. That looks awesome. That bad boy down there. Oh, feels good from factory. I'm liking it. Let's in a little bit closer. And we can have a look at all the other crap that you get in the box. That controller, that. And that's it. Alrighty. Let's get going. So here we have your 24 gigahertz controller. <laughs> Main thing, it only takes four AA batteries. We have throttle trim, steering trim, volume button, power button, and also your AVC and your steering rate. So. That'll help you out, like the Traxxas system. Um, yeah, pretty nice. All plastic though, it feels yeah, very plasticky. No foam or rubber around this steering steering wheel here, but it is what it is. It is 2 before gigahertz. It is lossy, they do make good stuff. Little stubby antenna, so they're not going to smack that off. Especially when your young kid gets it and they say, grab it by the antenna. And they tear it, but there we go. It works. Hey, Rock Ray, get in this thing. Now, in... Sydney here in Australia, it's winter, so it's freezing, so I wanted to get this video out so we can test it during the weekend. See, we have some accessories, some extra hardware. I'm not sure what that is for, but I'll definitely find out later. A bit of plastic. These look like headlight housings, if you want to update them and use LEDs. That's what I'm guessing. It definitely does look like it, because the ones on here are pre-mounted or pre-molded in the Lexan, but they are the same shape, so that's great. It gives you the option. Ah, this thing must be the uh, FPV page. You see the FPV camera if you want to use that. And nicely, they include four AA batteries for the uh, remote. Okay, so we got a few manuals here. One's for the Surface FPV camera mount for Spectrum Heavy Duty 25 milliwatt camera. There we go there. If that's what floats your boat, you can always use that. I do like FPV and actually, I've got an FPV system. I got it today actually. Let me just open this up. This is transmitter and this thing is not your normal 25 milliwatt. It's pretty decent. It's got, you know, I think a thousand um, milliwatts. It's actually quite powerful. But if I leave the link in the description down below, this might be a good platform for it because I do have a camera and we might be able to set this guy up and use that. But anyway, I digress. It's funny, I just got that today as well. There's that manual. You can never fold these things back. Yeah. Main manual Rockray 110s RTA Rock Racer. A little bit of colour. <laughs> Hello. Gives you all the stuff you need to know. Performing and controlling directional tests. It always help. In different languages, so it's not that thick. But anyway, you get the idea. Okay, now let's have a look around this guy. Certainly looks awesome. Definitely the same style, or very similar to, you know, like the Traxxas UDR solid rear axle. There's trailing arms on either side. Everything is plastic here. Underneath you have a telescopic drive shaft. The main body is plastic, uh, and the ends here are metal, so that kind of helps with the uh, overall durability of it. This whole rear axle here is all plastic. You notice there in the wheels, it does include these school, uh, school, 
cool scale looking disc rotors and everything. That's cool. I'll take the wheel off soon so we can have a look at that. But let's have a look at the overall design of it. At the back looks cool. It's got some more scale features. Fans like the UDRS has as well. On and off switches at the back there. All waterproof electronics. Obviously is what you'd expect. Cool looking scale drivers in there. Two of those bad boys. And I do like it. If you can see there, the ESC has a cutout. It does look nice too, but it also helps with the cooling of that ESC when you're moving forward. So I'm going to go through there. Nice touch. There is your LED light bar. This piece of plastic, put that on instead. Or oh, it's a cover that goes in there. I think it's a cover. That just popped on. Okay, now let's look around the side here. I like how it's got these molded in kind of protectors so all the rubbish and stuff kind of gets limited how much is going to get into the uh, into the main part of the chassis there. Telescopic shafts at the front here, all plastic apart from the yokes, or I think they're called yokes, where the uh, these are all metal. Plastic up top here, not too much room for adjustability I'm seeing here. I think it's just one fixed position. Even the uh, steering linkages here are fixed as well from what I can see. But you know, it is a rock racer, you're not going to be you know, bashing around the track too much. Long travel on the suspension there, which is what you'd want for this type of car. An interesting lower A-arm design. It's all solid, or well, flat at the bottom, not solid, sorry, but... Oh yeah, no, they are solids. So I guess that's going to mitigate anything scraping gets it and getting hung up if it had holes and stuff through them. But yeah, unique looking body. I do love these. It kind of reminds me of, one sec. That's a... FTX or whatever I think it is, Octane. They look very similar. Let me get this camera up. There we go. Very similar design, as you can see. Solitary axle, trailing arms. Look, you can't really divert much from that if you're doing that style of truck, but yeah, I was just saying it looks very familiar. Okay, so that's basically the outside. Everything does look great. I do like all these uh, moving suspension components and all that stuff. I love my UDR with the uh, just seeing how all this stuff works, it, it just looks cool. It's a different style of truck. Okay, now the battery door is pretty cool. Everything has to be accessed from below here, and you slide this little, there you go, slide that over, and you can open this little door, little hatch, and you can slide your battery up in there, which is quite a unique design. I guess it's going to be limited sometimes. You've got the standard connector that they want you to use, but anyway, slide that down, and that locks everything back in. Now let me see if I can get this body off and uh, we can look underneath. Okay, so I think they could have put some more screws in there. That, uh, that was only 12. Far out. Ah, uh -huh. hiding underneath there. So the Horizon Hobby. Let's see if we can find some specs on that motor. 2800 KV brushless motor. It's hiding all the way in there, so nice red can. Here we have our Oh, I heard something drop. Little spacers that are attached to the body. You have to watch out, otherwise they'll uh, gonna go flying. And here, here you can see we do have your sway bar. It's kind of hidden under that body there. So you got your little sway bar arm that's gonna cantilever that sway bar that runs through right there. So that's cool, as you can see. And you lift that up, it moves that sway bar. And that kind of sits all the way up and runs underneath the uh, ESC all the way to the other side. So that's an interesting design. Servo is neatly tucked under the driver's or the passenger's footwell all metal geared as well which is nice to see the dynamite ESC is all the way underneath there but it's it is 130 amps so that'll be obviously be good for 3S batteries you can chuck that in there I guess that's all you want to be running in here because also the battery tray is your limiting factor because of the size you're going to be hard pressed to put a I guess a 4 cell in there anyway so I guess 3S will be the maximum you could chuck in there Maybe two, but yeah, very nice design. Very complicated. You wouldn't want to get in there and you know start mucking around with it too much or for repairs because there's a lot to rip out. A lot of these plastic you have to take out. Everything is held in via screws, as you can see. Two here, two here. Got more if you want to open up the top. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how it looks underneath. It does have a metal drive shaft running from the front differential all the way to the rear here. You can just see it in there on the footwell there and also up here as well. Once at the front and the rear diff, obviously locked at the rear and the front 
as a differential. So that gives it that unique driving characteristic, which you know some people love, some people hate, but uh, it is what it is. But you can see the top plate there as well is aluminium bracing, along with the unique looking bottom, which is all aluminium, all countersunk, all nice. Nothing going to be hung up there, along with that unique looking lower A arms. Nothing going to get really snagged up on there, but everything is pretty cool. I am liking it. Like I said, my first look at it. Let me get the body back on and then we can have a look at these wheels and uh, have a look at that detail of the disc brake. So to use the standard 8mm nuts at the front, fine for this size. Now these wheels and tyres, they're not real bead locks, they just they look like it. Quite nice and soft though, perfect for gripping the rocks. They, uh, yeah, they feel quite nice, they are foam filled obviously, a little hole in there. So if you want to be running in through water, you want to tape that little hole up, otherwise they're going to be waterlogged. But they feel quite nice. They yeah, actually are very soft. Cool. And when you take that wheel off, you're greeted with this lovely scale plastic disc rider. You can see there, the wheel attaches directly to this plastic piece. The caliper is actually fixed to the steering uh, knuckle there, as you can see. So everything works as one. But yeah, it looks nice. Red, separate color. It looks nice and scale. I do like that held on. A little grub screw at the bottom there. So different wheels and tires might be a bit of an issue. But uh, just because of the um, offset in that wheel, but I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Go back on. One thing I noticed before when I was looking around the back, it does have different positions for your suspension. So you've got one more here, and also another hole here right at the back on this trailing arm. So if you want to change it up, you can, which is good. You can't change the sway bar position, that has to stay. But everything else, you know, that, the suspension you can. But that's about it. At the front there isn't any suspension changes up here, no other suspension holes mount, sorry. At the bottom here you, you do have one more as well. So at least there is some flexibility or some adjustment if you need. But uh, yeah, that, that's it there. That's the lossy. I think it looks cool. Lossy Rockway, 110 scale, good size. Stay tuned for a video where we actually take it out and give it a good old bash. This isn't going to go on a skate park. This isn't going to be doing backflips. This is more, more for scale driving, which is something cool. Now, I've been trying to find a battery with that, with that connector. I don't think I do. I want to show you the LED bar um, lit up, but uh, yeah, I don't think I do have one. Yeah, I just check. I don't have that. One thing it's weird as well, unless it's not in this kit, I didn't really see a toolkit for this. So, ready to run, you expect walk it in there unless I'm blind now I can't see it. What I used here was was for my own personal stash. So that's a bit strange. I'm not sure if that's how it is but anyway no biggie. So guys let me know what you guys think in your description or in the comments down below. I think it's cool. Another uh, another card of the arsenal. Definitely a different style of beast. So testing all durability aspects of it. Look out for the video coming soon. Alright guys, I think that's about it. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you have one of these, let me know as well. Any uh, problems or any upgrades or any updates you think that need to be done to make it perform better, please let me know. If you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe. And always, please click that little uh, bell button so you get notified of all the latest content because there is heaps and heaps coming up on this channel. Really exciting stuff. Few things coming up, build offs, NFGRC, batteries coming up, all good stuff. So, thanks, guys. Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks. If you want to find this guy, I'll leave the link down below. It is from Crazy Hobbies. They have this plus many, many, many others, uh, any other, many other cars, sorry, all the stuff we get from there. So, support our local shop where we can. So, thanks, guys. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next one.